everybody, Andrew Zimmern here. Today we are gonna make an incredible, fast, easy recipe. And we're gonna use items that almost universally have come out of our freezers. Over the last year, 18 months, we have stocked up on so many consumer goods. And we've been cooking so much at home that between those two things, we've really overloaded our freezers. 30% of Americans feel stressed and uneasy and perplexed when they open their freezers about what to use or how to use it. So, should we take a look at my freezer? I go away on vacation or for a week. I'm gonna return and the ginger and garlic that is in my vegetable keeper is not gonna make it. So I just peel it and pulse it in the food processor or put it on a grater. And I literally can use a knife and cut away tablespoons. These are two beaten eggs that I put in there after I was using eggs for uh, a cake that I was making and I had two left over at the end, bought a new dozen. So I stuck two in there, vegetable scraps. In here is celery. I have a couple of thyme leaves that you can see in there, uh, some pepper ends. That becomes the basis for a really good stock or soup. This is one and a half cups of rice, but when I freeze it flat on a tray and then once it's frozen, store it upright, not only do I fit more stuff in my freezer, but it feels so much more manageable. It's like flipping through pages of a book to see what I have. So today I'm gonna make a favorite recipe in my house, which is fried rice. We always have these ingredients on hand in my refrigerator or in my freezer. So I wanna show you what we're doing. I have some of that uh, grated ginger and garlic. I've got some scallions, some beaten egg, uh, two whole chilies. I have some toasted sesame oil, soy sauce, frozen peas that I defrosted, bean sprouts, and of course the star of the show, which is our Hillshire Farm smoked sausage. Now, the big question when I'm using this in our house is, do you want it sliced or do you want it diced? Now, we have Hillshire Farm smoked sausage in our refrigerator and in our freezer because I use it all the time to create easy weeknight meals for my family. It's pre-seasoned and it's pre-cooked. So, it's super, super convenient for those last minute meal decisions when I really want to put some fantastically delicious protein on my family's table. First thing that we're going to do is we're going to preheat our cooking vessel. Now, I happen to be using a wok. You can use one of these no stick pans that's perfect for induction tops, right? That's easy. You can use a cast iron skillet. I make fried rice in this all the time. So the first thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a tablespoon of peanut oil into my wok, and I'm gonna turn it from my preheat to something in between medium and high. And once that starts rippling and I can smell the oil and it's aromatic, I know it's hot enough to cook my eggs. Cause I'm gonna cook a couple of things and put them on the side plate before they get added back in. Next thing I'm doing is adding that second tablespoon of oil because I want to put a little color on my Hillshire Farm smoked sausage and just let them get a little crispy, a little bit of color on one side and I don't even need all of them. Look at how beautiful that is. Put the last bit of our oil. We want to add our aromatics and that's our chilies, our garlic, and our ginger. I don't want to burn the ginger. So what is it that immediately stops all that from cooking? Adding my rice. But what's important is that we're gonna turn the heat up all the way to high. We're gonna chance to get that beautiful, beautiful, charry flavor out of our cooking implement that's sort of the signature of a really good fried rice. And then the next thing that I want to do is add my egg and my sausage back to the pan. It's starting to look like fried rice, isn't it? In goes my peas. Put my scallions on the top. Oh my God, this smells so good. I want you to taste this so badly. My soy sauce and sesame oil. And you'll notice that the minute we add those liquids, the fried rice starts to turn a little darker color from the soy. I don't want my bean sprouts to be raw, but I don't need them to cook very long. 
stove top off and layer this family style. And look at that beautiful, gorgeous fried rice. This is so good. Mm.